Shane to play my magic keys. If you're in your ID fan, uh, drop down your. If you're an NERD fan, drop down your NERD hand right now. Yeah, baby. All right, y'all. Let's get into this video today. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sierra. And today, y'all, I have a helmet laying. Try on haul. It's not an unboxing. I already unboxed it because I was like super excited. And also, I was just like kind of contemplating about doing this video because I'm like, I don't want to look like a shopaholic on here. Like, I don't want people to be like, she spent too much money. But at the end of the day, shit, I do shit for me. <laughs> um, and I know who I am, okay? I know I'm the same person that also thrifts a lot too. Thrift stores ain't open right now, but I just want y'all to know that I am not, okay, I am a slave to this shit. <laughs> but I'm not the type of person that feel like you know, you gotta wear designer to be fashionable or stylish. I don't wanna give y'all that impression. That's why I was like, I don't know if I wanna even do this video because I feel like I've been doing a lot of like, designer haul, this is haul, this haul. It kind of looks like I'm like all about designer, which I love quality at the end of the day. Um, my OGs, y'all already know, I used to thrift so, so much, especially when I was in Chicago. And I plan to do more thrifting here in New York when stores like open back up because, me and Connor both like, okay, girl, you need to calm down, okay? We ain't not that. Okay. But I haven't been spending too much, y'all. And y'all already know, I only buy designer if it's on sale, literally. That's the only time I buy it. You would never see Sierra being like, oh shit, that new, uh, that new record came out, let me drop 2,000 on that, uh, no, hell no. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love fashion, I do, but like, I'm not about to spend my last on it. Like, I'm not, I'm not there, no, no, hell no. And uh, yeah, so let's get into this haul because I'm just rambling, obviously. But um, yeah, I was on Helmet Lane's site, y'all. I just need to, honestly, I just need to unsubscribe to these sites that be sending you emails, the real, real essence. And then you know how the internet kind of figure out what you like and don't like. And then they send you shit that they know that you don't like. Anyways, got an email from Helmet Lane, 80% off, went on Helmet Lane, and I was just like, okay. All right, I, I need these couple pieces. I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. Like, I need it, I need it. <laughs> so y'all, let's get into what I got. Um, starting off with the first piece is this beautiful skirt here. This is the first thing that I seen on the Himalayan website that I really, really wanted. Immediately, I put this in my shopping cart because I don't own a black fitted skirt. Like, I don't own one. Like, I feel like it's a necessity in a wardrobe, um, especially for a grown woman wardrobe, okay? And this one fits so, so beautifully. It fits exactly the way that it did on the model, which is like very tight. And also I like to, you can tell that it's quality because it stays a midi skirt throughout your walking process, okay? Because I hate stuff that like tends to rise as you like walk. Like it's super tight, super fitted, but it just keeps its shape, you know, as you're, you're doing your day to day. So I absolutely love that. And then too, you guys, I was gonna be a little bit hesitant until I seen that it was 100% wool. So I was like under $100, 100% wool, a timeless black skirt, sexy black skirt that I will have forever, like yes. Um, because in my head, y'all, how I look at things is just that I've lived in Chicago my whole life. Now I live in New York. Both places have majority of like winter months. You know, we have like six months of fall and winter. So always my perspective is like, I'm going to invest in things that I'm going to wear the most. And I feel like I wear winter clothes the most. So that's why I typically will buy like winter clothes all year round. I wear summer clothes like three months out of the year. So I don't like to invest a whole lot in summer clothes. Like really even sandals, I kind of hesitate on buying for summer. Cause I'm like, I'm not going to wear them enough. You know, I'm not gonna get a lot of wear out of them um but then i'm just like you still gotta be cute in the summer so i do invest in some little pieces here or there but never will you see a girl splurging in summer for summer pieces like that like that like no so this skirt you guys is beautiful i would highly recommend it go true to size if you do want to check it out i got it in a size extra small and as you guys can see it is fitted to your girl I love that the slit is in the back too because it's just the unexpected sexiness that you, you don't really see coming. Um, and yeah, I feel like it makes my butt look good. It makes my legs look good. I'm probably gonna do a styling video with this skirt. Actually, if you guys wanna see that, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments that you wanna see me style this skirt. Cause 
now that I got it in my hands, y'all, I'm just like, well, what the hell do I wear this with? Because <laughs> I don't wear skirts that often, but I do want to start, especially wearing like midi skirts because I feel like it's so, again, grown woman looking. And yeah, I'm like, how am I going to style this? And I wonder if y'all want to see me style this because I'm definitely going to try to style it on my own, listen to some music, drink some wine, and just try on shit with the skirt. But if y'all want to see that process, let me know down below. Because uh, I'm really, really excited to wear this. I know that I can like wear it to work. I'm actually going to even try it on with the next piece that I'm about to show you. See how that looks. Because um, I actually tried it on with like a black t-shirt tucked in. And I didn't really like the way it looked with the black t-shirt tucked in. For some reason, I don't really like the, the like ribbing part showing so much. So it's going to be inter interesting to uh, see what I can style with this guy. You guys, as far as how heavy it is, it's... It's 100% wool, <laughs> so definitely more so for the colder days or colder months. Let's say like 70 degrees to like 80 degrees on a summer night, this skirt would be doable. Um, Cause it is like not super, super heavy. And too, with you having the slit in the back, you are able to get a little bit of airflow, you know, going through there. So definitely gonna be wearing this like at nighttime, real cute and sleek, maybe with a little slide situation. I don't know y'all, we gonna see. Getting into the next piece that I got, y'all, is a sweater. <laughs> yes, I bought a sweater in the summertime. Yes, I did, okay? Kanye, what Kanye say? The East Shop for the Winter in the Summer, period. Because that's how you do it. That's when the best deals are. Like, in the summertime, people don't want to buy alpaca, you know? So, of course, that's going to be reduced in price. Because summer, people want to buy shorts, tank tops. So, that is the best time to buy the opposites, okay? Because that's going to be on sale. Has anybody looking at it right then? Okay, unless the people that really own it own it, like your girl, then you good. But yeah, y'all, I got this alpaca, alpaca. <laughs> this alpaca wool polyamide blend sweater. And I know y'all like, girl, we thought you ain't like synthetic, synthetic. Oh, I didn't get a list of my teeth. Okay. Actually, when it comes to buying like sweaters and things of the sort, I actually don't mind it being a little bit of synthetic mixed in because what I find is when it is like polyester mixed in with the alpaca and the wool, it causes it not to get those little rolly balls on it so much because I have 100% cashmere sweaters and 100% wool sweaters and they just always get super peely. After three or four wears, like it's kind of out of there and I just be like, damn. Even when you do get that little scraper thing, like the ball still gonna come back after, you know, a couple of wears. So that just gets annoying. And to me, it just starts to lose. It's just attractiveness <laughs> to say the least. Um, so I just, I love a sweater that has a little bit of synthetic because I find that it just doesn't peel as much. And this one, you guys, what I will say though, with it being synthetic, it does kind of feel like a step above an H&M sweater. Not gonna lie. Uh, it it kind of has that synthetic feel to it. But what I like though is it doesn't have that synthetic look to it. Because with a sweater being 100% polyester or something like that, I don't know if y'all have ever paid attention to it, but it actually looks like you can see the plastic glistening in some light. Like you can see the plastic. To me, this sweater looks like quality. You can definitely see the wool and alpaca weaved in here. And I don't really feel like it has that polyester look to it. Um, like I said, it does feel a little bit light and a little bit like you can feel the synthetic, but looking at it, honey, it is so, so cute. I love to the horizontal weave and then the vertical weave on the sweater. I think I get that right. Sometimes I get horizontal and vertical mixed up, but y'all know what I mean. Uh, it goes this way here and then, you know, straight down. And I love it. What I will say though, on the model, it kind of tricked me again, y'all. I don't know if it's me or if it's, if it's them because i seen on the model she was wearing i think like a uh, extra small and i'm thinking like okay she's like a five foot tall model and as y'all can see the sleeves look pretty long on her like she gets a little bagginess with the sleeve but that's why i was just like okay i'm gonna order an extra small because i'm shorter i'm like five five and a half five six so the sleeves will be long on me and it'll look oversized on me just like her that's what i thought but i get the extra small y'all and as y'all can see it's cute again it's cute but but I'm just like, 
I wish the sleeves were a little bit longer and also the back was a little bit longer so I did contact them and, and ask them if I can exchange it for a bigger size I know y'all like girl what is the problem because if y'all see my cotton video that I posted a couple days ago I was telling y'all that I bought the wrong or I got the wrong size in that shirt too and now I got the wrong size in the sweater I'm like is it me or them because it says oversized feel oversized look go through the size so that's what I be thinking but then I have to keep in mind that I'm super broad. Y'all know I'm long as hell. So I should just have been accounting for that. But I felt like in the past I've gotten things too big. So that's why I'm just like, let me just get my true size because it's meant to be oversized already. But obviously that wasn't really the case. So I'm gonna start buying a size bigger with things that I want to fit oversized, regardless of if they say go true to size because it's too much it's too much and i don't even think they're gonna let me exchange because it was a final sale so regardless i'm fine with this sweater i mean i eventually i might try to sell it to be quite honest but i'm definitely gonna get a couple wears out of her because she's cute i love the back of this sweater y'all i love how it kind of dips a little bit lower in the back i feel like that's gonna be really really cute maybe with like a chunky chain and i can see it too with just a white t-shirt underneath i think that's what the model had underneath um on the helmet line website so definitely definitely gonna style it that way but i just love a sweater with like a t-shirt underneath i just feel like it looks so so chic here is me actually on my instagram wearing a sweater with a shirt underneath and like a blazer i just feel like it really pulls a look together and makes it just cohesive and uh, more minimalistic looking with a t-shirt underneath maybe it's just me but it's totally a vibe and as far as the way i care for my sweater just so you guys know how i have always been taught working at places that I've worked um, where they sell like really high quality wools and alpacas is you supposed to dry clean it. Um, but I have personally washed my wools and cashmere. I just definitely don't put it in the dryer. I just let it air dry. But I would of course recommend going with what it says on the tag which is typically dry clean. This one definitely says dry clean. I sometimes will wash it and just not dry it, but I don't, I feel like even washing might shrink her up. So <laughs> I'm definitely only gonna dry clean this because in order for me to like love it forever, it's gonna have to literally stay this length. Cause if the sleeves go a little bit shorter than what they already are, y'all, I'm gonna, gonna be done with it. And it's gonna be a waste of money. And I don't want that to happen. So, so I'm definitely gonna try to take care of it or sell it before I don't like it anymore. But right now I like it, I like it. I just was the sleeves were a little bit longer. And y'all, for as far as pricing, I don't know for sure, but I know total for the skirt and the sweater, it was $202. And I was just like, that's not a bad price. For 100% wool skirt, uh, alpaca and wool sweater, like girl. I mean, I just felt like it was just a really good deal. And so y'all know I gotta talk it over with my financer, my finance manager, which is Connor. And Connor even was just like, you know what, babe, I know that you will wear that sweater a lot. I know that you wear that skirt a lot. You should get it. So he approved, I approved. I was like, let me just put it in the bag. <laughs> And so y'all, it came super, super fast. I don't know if y'all ever been on the Helmet Lane website, but to me, it looks a little bit sketchy a little bit. I don't know, it's just black and white and kind of just like, it's like in a warehouse, but on a website. <laughs> y'all, it's crazy how my brain works. But for some reason, it looks sketch to me, y'all. For some reason, it came in literally like three days super surprised like when it came i thought it was something else even and i was like whoa this is coming lane like that's crazy so shipping super super fast y'all but as far as sizing i would say for the sweater definitely if you want it to be more oversized go one size bigger or if you like the way it fit like y'all see how it fit on me through the sides then do that because i think that's cute too it's all about your preference i would say at the end of the day but me i'm just like i prefer over oversized so more oversized, the better, especially me being so goddamn long. See, y'all can't even see how long I am. I can't even get it on camera, like, girl. Oh, it'd be, a, it'd be a struggle trying to get stuff that fit. I don't even know what I was thinking. I knew I should've gotten a size bigger, but whatever, I can't go back now. Hopefully they let me exchange it. But yeah, y'all, that's actually all of the things that I got from Help Me Playing. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you guys want to see me style these pieces, let me know down in the comments and I will definitely make that video for you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.